I goggle eyes. Yeah, bullseye. Yeah. Hey, wh why dissect? Tell me, how many people is that really helpful to in a future career? I don't know. Putting up a bullseye. I don't know, and I still can't remember of it. No. I just remember him looking at me really but like... But leave eyes, because it's important. That's what, what the message is. <laughs> oh, eyes. yes, there's a scary message. <laughs> with eyes, keep your head down. What's the point of going to school? <laughs> No, keep going. It's worth it. It's worth it. Yeah. Um, it's the um, Party Tunes Request Hour, and obviously we want you all to uh, let us know what you want to play. Um, and Melanie has got in touch. Uh, no, she hasn't. Uh, the, no, Melanie's husband has asked, can you play Edge of Heaven by Wham? We've had a fantastic <gasps> day on your yacht, Orpheus. On our yacht, Orpheus. I think someone needs to go to a typing course. People think I'm having a breakdown. It's your spelling. <laughs> we've we've had a fantastic day on your yacht. I'm like, well, it's, it's like anyone listening can use this. My yacht, <laughs> Saint Tropez, <laughs> gathering dust in the Mediterranean um, oh. on our yacht Orpheus well lucky you and have just made it in before the skies open well you wanted wham for your wife Melanie you haven't given me your name but we're going to play Edge of Heaven for you so uh, enjoy a bit of wham I, I love like wham. wham I do too <laughs> online on digital and on 88 to 91 FM BBC Radio 2 back weekdays from 9.30 uh, well the texts have been coming in thick and fast. There's a storm brewing in Polbuff, West Lothian, getting darker by the minute, but Ooh. still boiling. It's quite eerie, isn't it, that? Where? <laughs> what, Polbuff? <laughs> <laughs> when it's really warm, but you can just sense that there's a storm on its way. Yes, yes, Ooh. yes, especially if you're, Melanie, if you're still on my yacht, <laughs> batting down the hatches and... Uh... <laughs> uh, we have got someone listening in Vancouver, in Canada. Raina is over there listening to us. She wants to, to give a big shout out to her cousin, Alison Buckley, who lives in Birmingham. And her night is just starting in Van City, and she hopes it'll be a good one. I think it will, because Vancouver is wicked. Have you ever been? No, but everyone says oh, how great it is. It is such a fantastic city. It's so beautiful. I was there in the summer, and the weather was gorgeous, and you're down by the harbour, but in the mountains are all snow-capped and people are skiing, so it's one of those, Oh. you know, really you interesting been to cities. Sydney? I have been to Sydney, yeah. yeah. Is it a bit like Sydney? They say Vancouver's like Sydney, or is that wrong? Oh, no, I wouldn't say that. Ooh. I don't know. I, I like Australia, but I, I'm a big fan of Canada, actually. I'm going to go there. I am, on my yacht. <laughs> um, hi, hi, Alan and Mel. Please say hello to the Wright family, and happy birthday to Hannah Wright. Happy birthday, happy Hannah. Happy birthday. She's nine today, and we're on oh. our way back to Devon from the French Alps. Oh. oh, very nice, very nice. Hi, Alan and Mel. Can you let Tamsin, Claire and the girls know that we're on the way? We're late as usual. That's Sharon and Caitlin on the A55. Hi, Alan and Mel. Top show. Val, Steve and son Fred on way for curry after a week in France. Val's wearing a tutu, Steve's a mankini and Fred's a DJ. Just another day in paradise. <laughs> <laughs> Gold and having a curry as well. Ugh. Oh, we've got a lovely one here. Liz from Northampton wants to say hi to her husband, Kev. They're having a picnic. She wants us to tell him that she loves him with all her heart and can't wait to spend the rest of her life with you. He makes her the oh. happiest person alive. Oh, Don't we love that? That's beautiful. They've obviously only been married five minutes. <laughs> You're no, so that's cynical. lovely. That's lovely. Have a lovely evening, you two. Now we've got, well, we've got Mark James on the phone. Hello, Mark. Hello, Alan. How are you doing? Not too bad. How are you? I'm good, thanks. Uh, very hot, very sweaty, but... Uh, and that's not because I'm in my costume, it's just a very, very lovely day today. Well, explain who you are for people who might not know. Um, I was on the uh, Britain's Got Talent on uh, Thursday night. Uh, I was the one that was half man, half woman. Uh, Elton and Kiki. Uh, oh, yes. Kiki. How long does it take you to make the costumes? Um, well, that one, I, I actually got a little bit of help with the production department and the, the, the uh, makeup and everything. Yeah, it's um, really good. It was, a, a, it was sort of like a team effort. We came up with a design um, in a meeting. Uh, and then the suit was actually made by a, a proper tailors, and then it was just a case of trying to fit them both together. Um, mm. You know, stitching them together, because obviously they'd never done a, a half a suit and half a, a woman's dress mm. before. But uh, did, uh, Britain, did Britain's got, because you had to wear half a glasses as well, half a pair of glasses. It was so funny, because they'd, they'd actually had, 
they'd been to a proper opticians and had a, a half a glass made. And I said, no, they need to be bigger. So they ended up going to like a pound shop and just finding a pair of cheap kids' sunglasses. And I was like, hey, I'll do. And uh, we, just, we just cut them in half and, and uh, blinged them up a bit. Well, I mean, you must be inundated with work after going on Britain's Got Talent. Yeah, it was, it was brilliant. I mean, uh, the, the, the costume and everything they've done, uh, you know, um, just everything about the whole show, just how it's all put together, it's just so amazing. And, and I've, I'm, you know, I'm just hoping that I get to wear the, the costume again. Uh, I think uh, I'm sure you will. The, to find out if we um, go on the tour or not. Oh, um, yes, you've got the tour as well. Yeah, the... the from, it's a little bit of one of those, no one really knows who's going on it. They sort of say, if you're in the final, you've got, you know, more, more than, you know, 90% chance of going on the tour. Yeah. Uh, but they, they've said that, obviously, even if you've not got through, there's a good chance that you could um, go on the tour because they look for a variety. And obviously, with me just being the, sort of like the odd one out in the, in the loop of being... Being the only person who's doing half and half. Mm. Um, well, I don't know about... Did you see that man dressed as Madonna? <laughs> <laughs> he was a bit rice and chips. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think that was on uh, Tuesday or Wednesday. That was so funny. Um, yeah, I might, I've been watching them all every night. Um, you know, I've, I've been trying to follow it as, uh, all along as well, just because when, when we find out who's through to the, so like the semi-finals, yeah. you get to meet everyone, but you don't know what anyone does. I see, um, I so see. You're sort, of, you're sort of going, well, you must be a dance troupe, you must be a, a singer. And I honestly thought, because he did the, it, when he did the Madonna in, a, in like a French um, black and white check top, oh, I thought yes. he was doing like a French, um, uh, I don't know, <laughs> just something to do, like it was, it was a French maid or something. Piaf or something. Yeah, yeah or I, maybe I even know, like a mime artist. Oh, like an onion yeah, seller. Exactly, yeah, you know, the old... The old uh, black and white clown thing, you know? Yeah. And it was, like, so strange. And, and uh, the guy that did the chopping wood, I thought he was a Sean Connery tribute. Yes. Yeah. Because um, <laughs> he was in a tuxedo. I was like, he must be a Sean Connery lookalike or something. And then and then I heard him saying, you know, um, if he was going to get through to the to the fi semi-finals, he was going to um, chop some wood really, really fast. And if he chopped I didn't fast, see the chopping wood on one. Fire. Did oh, you didn't? With his, oh, I didn't see the chopping wood one. Did he do it with his hand and his head? And no, he, wasn't that exciting? What do you call it? When they, they, they make all the little bits of wood for your uh, fire, the um, kindling. He, and it, he, he was he made, that just sounds uh, like something you get down the garden centre. Yeah, he, he was doing it to the, the tune of Robin Hood and it was like uh, chopping wood, chopping wood, uh, chopping as we go. Oh, uh, <laughs> Mark, it, do you know what? It wasn't very good, was it, to be fair? You know what, I, I wouldn't, uh, it's really hard, because I don't want to sound like nasty or anything to anyone. It, it, I think it's different, whether it's... Oh, Mark, give or, over, oh, different. So different, different, <laughs> cutting up wood to the sound of Robin Hood. I know, <laughs> you know what, I, I wouldn't be surprised if that, that, that someone takes that routine and puts it in a panto this year. You know, when well, they're welcome to it. <laughs> no, it's, it's different. I, I, I mean, it's like my act. I was really surprised because it's, it's something I don't do for a living. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm actually a magician by trade. Yeah, um, yeah. And that's what I do when I'm not working on the ferry ships. And I Why didn't you go on the show like, doing your magic? Purely because Simon Cowell doesn't like anyone who does uh, magic. Um, I mean, look at this year. There's no magician on it. No. Um, and, I, and I've had friends in the past that have gone on the show, and they've... Mm. They've sort of been, um, how can I put it, um, buzzed off or, um, you know, Simon says, well, it's all rock, it's nothing special. Oh, um, so I didn't want to do something I, I do for a living. I wanted to do something that I do for, you know, that was something fun for me. Yeah. Um, and, and if it was rubbish, if people thought it was rubbish, I'm not going to get upset about it because I can just say, well, I don't do it for a living, so... Oh, you know. do you know what, Mark? It was, it was really entertaining. We, oh, we were you. laughing our head off at home and it was it's good... <laughs> So, good, just good luck to you good, and, clean time. and everything. And Beautiful. fingers yeah. crossed you get on the tour, you know. Well, I'll, I'll tell you one thing. Now I've been on it, and, uh, I mean, I was the person, I've been like probably a lot of you listeners, they w sit at home and go, you know what, I'm going to enter that competition. For, and uh, every year I've never done it. And last year I actually pulled my finger out, and I went, I'm going to enter it, and, and there I am, you know, on, on the semi-final. And I, yeah, I'm going to enter amazing. it again next year, but I'm going to come up with a completely different thing. I was, I was joking with a couple of friends, and I said, you know what, I should go on it as a half half and half, but this time go on as half twist and half full or something like that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes. Wow, that would take some serious you know, training, getting that down. I'll, I'll try and go on as, like, um, a quarter of every year, so I go on as quarter as Paul Potts. Uh, quarter of <laughs> George Hampton, a quarter of, you know, just a, a little bit.